I was trying just to say what we can do in 2010 with respect to these things. Well, the only thing is that uh, since I was in, uh, involved in this reverse engineering project, uh, let's say process that was uh, aiming to uh, have some uh, model, prototype model of these, uh, of nine of these uh, projects. Um, actually, I had to redesign, in my group of course, we, we had to redesign nine of these projects. In doing so, we learned a lot because we had to understand, to uh, go into detail in order not to misunderstand any detail of this process. So in this case, uh, from, a, from a point of view of 2010, what we can do is that, let's say that we had this problem. This was starting from this uh, plan here, where we have all quotes. These are all a, uh, equivalent area quotes in plane. But when you move on the 3D and you go on the surface, they will be all different. That's why he had to uh, study 13 pieces. So each of these arch is made up of 13 elements, which repeat for every arch, which was already a good accomplishment because, it, of course, the, the site, the construction site was going faster and everything uh, was fine. But uh, this problem for, for those days now can be solved in a very straightforward way because now we can actually use just a surface mesh meshing and parametrically impose that we want a 3D surface mesh with equiangular, or with, uh, sorry, uh, with the identical poles. And so this will reflect on a 2D where these poles are different, but this, this is not what counts. We want this one. And this could be done in a, in a very trivial way. So I'm not saying anything new here, but just to say that uh, think of, uh, of this as being possibility that, that he didn't have. Of course, this would entail maybe an arch here, which then it has to be, it has to be judged from an architectural point of view. Uh, is it, is it uh, reasonable, make it sense with respect to the, the, well, it doesn't seem to be too wrong from a structural point of view. This uh, consideration reflects, of course, on the, on the way uh, these arch are built, and uh, so that's why he always had to rely on uh, life size uh, templates, let's say. So he had to rely on, on uh, pieces of the structure at full size. Uh, this was actually the test made at Magliana, this was on the construction site, where he had to test what he was thinking of. So um, this was the uh, the way he was building this, uh, of course, uh, outstanding structure. Another example is San Mer Mary Cathedral in San Francisco. Again, I'm not going into any architectural debate uh, about the outcome, about the uh, somehow the eco that this uh, project uh, add into the architectural realm. Um, but this is interesting because it was one of the latest realizations from 66 to 71. The architecture was from uh, Pietro Belluschi and he was actually appointed as a consultant for this structure. And in this case he is using a uh, hyperbolic parabola. And uh, well, here in this case, uh, the geometry is still relying on 2D spaces. So, if you want to build a hyper uh, like this, uh, what he did was the most natural way to, to of course, to treat it. So, to make the ribs of, the, of this hyper, he cut the hyper, one eighth of the hyper with vertical planes, and so he derived these lines, these blue lines up here, then he cut it with the horizontal planes, and he get the other family of curves. And out of this net, by passing through these points, uh, maybe it's not too clear here, in any case, he found the curved uh, path of the uh, triangular elements that compose the structure. Because, again, here he was using uh, prefabricated elements, so according to his uh, uh, 
the, the system, the nervous system that he devised and patented. And I'm not going into detail about these things, but there is a lot of things, there are a lot of things to say about this, of course. Because, of course, the construction, invention, the builders, the builder is very important. So, the hyper uh, can also be done by using a surface machine. machine. So, the same problem that we highlighted before again happens, that is to say, uh, of course, when you replace these two family of straight lines, here we have triangles that are all different. In this case, they are all equal. Um, and the reasoning is exactly the same we did before. In this case, we would have triangles that are all the same. Instead, we have to face 392 triangular elements, ranging from a side of 2,000 and a half to two and a half meters up to 0.9 meters. So, very difficult from the construction, construction point of view. And also here, I'm just mentioning a lot of interesting uh, things about his hand calculations from, uh, let's say, the Williot diagram, which is a static graphic, uh, uh, actually, tool that is not more teacher or taught at school, of course. Uh, these are the reduction of an hyperstatic uh, frame uh, according to very natural uh, solution and simplified solution. And here, what it says is that everything goes well here, because he found, in a, just to make a test, on the balance, he found a six, let's say, more or less six percent difference between two meters. It was far, you know, far good enough for him. Uh, of course, also we can do standard finite element codes and actually study the membrane behavior or the thrust behavior just in a, in a second. We can do all these things now nowadays. Things that he did here was somehow studying the ruled surface of the of the Saint Mary Cathedral, which entails a lot of things, and this is his simplified solution, which is not actually too different from the finite element code solution. So all this that I've been talking about was prompted by this reverse engineering uh, process that I've been uh, uh, lucky enough to follow. And this was done by this group of people at uh, this Nervi lab, and uh, this was done uh, in agreement with uh, MacNeil and Materialize, which is in Leven and prototype this model. So we had to redesign, redrawing, and we just mentioned the main step that we undertook just to make Nervi present nowadays. And actually, in this work, also Mario Sassone was involved in Torino because Polytechnic of Torino also follow three of these projects uh, along the same line, basically. And so this were, these are pictures of the models that are now shown at SIVA in Brussels. Brussels. So, of course, uh, these are the steps that we had to undertake. And this is uh, part of the process that was done to build this model, which is a resin model in rapid manufacturing. And here you see how it grows. Uh, out of the racing when it solidifies and uh, these models were of course done by materialize and these are the outcomes so the concluding remarks are that are just two sentences from Nervi one is uh, today our technology allows us to do too much without first understanding and he said this in 1961 uh, and this is what maybe has to be related to the uh, title of this mini symposium, uh, where ethical ingredients was of, of course expressly mentioned by him and his concern with respect to the role of the architecture and structure in, in a broader sense, in a social sense. Now, this picture made me think, is the world turned upside down? Uh, this is actually a machine picture while it was constructing the roof of the Palazzetto Palace, of the small Palazzetto Palace, where we have the scaffolding. This is a numerical scaffolding made by the software. And here is uh, the construction site of the Palazzetto uh, building. So I think this basically concludes uh, my talk. And I think that the question remains open, uh, whether so we want to be 
uh, dwarfs on the shoulder of standing on the shoulder of giants, or maybe according to Nietzsche, we need to progress somehow uh, relying on big men shouting to each other from a long time distance. So thank you for your attention.